In this video, I'll show you how to install, configure, and train a vacuum gripper on Sawyer. Let's start by assembling the gripper. To install the vacuum gripper and muffler, first remove the plug across from the 6mm hose connector with an 8mm hex key. Then screw in the vacuum generator and muffler, red tip first, and hand tighten. Attach a ground wire to the vacuum gripper manifold using one of the M4 screws and small toothed washer in the vacuum gripper starter kit. Attach the other end to the base or shorten the wire and attach it to the Baxter gripper adapter plate. This prevents any ESD from damaging the robot. Optionally, you can add one or two extensions to reach inside a box. Then add an appropriate size vacuum cup from the gripper kit. Next, we'll install the Baxter gripper adapter plate and vacuum gripper on the training cuff. Squeeze the zero G area on the training cuff and move the arm to a convenient location. Alternatively, select front or behind from the configure end effectors panel. Then install the Baxter gripper adapter plate using the four bolts provided. Note the alignment pin. Connect the vacuum gripper electrical connector to the port in the mounting plate. Rest the vacuum gripper on the two shoulder bolts in the mounting plate. Be sure the wires are not pinched. Tighten the two captive screws in the vacuum gripper base to the mounting plate. Next, you will go to the main menu and select settings, hardware settings, configure end effectors, and enter the length and weight of the gripper. Enter the length of the gripper from where the Baxter gripper adapter plate bolts to the training cuff and measure to the end of the vacuum cup, including any extensions. Press done. Then enter the weight of the vacuum gripper. 0.1 kilograms for one vacuum cup without extensions. Press done and then select train or retrain. Now open the door on Sawyer's controller to access the air valves. Two valves are mounted, wired, and plumbed. This is the input side of the valves, and this is the output side. Connect the input port to a six millimeter hose with 60 to 90 pounds of dry, compressed air. Connect the output side to a hose that connects to the vacuum gripper. Test the operation of the vacuum gripper by pressing the grasp button, the long button, on the training cuff. The vacuum should turn on and off with each press of the grasp button. Larger vacuum cups provide more gripping power to lift more weight. Texture, irregular surfaces, items packed in bags, and so forth may require a different vacuum cup selection. Use the blue lip cups for those situations and the yellow lip cups for picking up flat, rigid surfaces. The vacuum cups should fit entirely on the object surface. 